Hi, I'm Joshua Cook, a curriculum developer with Databricks. In this video, we'll be applying what we've learned about latent semantic analysis to a slightly larger dataset, the 20 News Groups dataset. There is a link to the notebook I'll be using in the video description if you would like to follow along. As we'll be working on a larger dataset, we'll transition from using Scikit-Learn to using Apache Spark. The notebook we'll be using is written in Scala. Even though we're working in a different language, we'll use the same series of steps to perform the latent semantic analysis. We will first bring in our data as raw text data, transform it into a document term matrix, perform a singular value decomposition on the document term matrix, and finally, we are left with topic encoded data. Let's bring the raw text data into our environment. Here we can look at where the files are stored in the Databricks file system. The files are stored in parquet format, and as you can see, they're stored across multiple files. Let's use Spark to read the files into a data frame. The documents we're working with here consist of forum posts to a news group. For younger viewers who may not remember news groups, it's a lot like Reddit. We're going to apply an additional pre-processing step to our documents in this latent semantic analysis. In particular, we're going to be generating word lemmas. A word lemma is the canonical or dictionary definition of a word. If you were to look up the words run, ran, or running in a dictionary, you would not find three different listings for those words. You'd find a single listing, probably under the word run. By this same token, we want our latent semantic analysis to treat those words run, ran, and running as a single word when it does the semantic analysis. It would be the same with plurals. So you wouldn't want to think of banana and bananas as two different things. When we generate word lemmas, and treat these examples as single words, it will help our latent semantic analysis. The Stanford Core NLP package provides functionality to allow us to generate word lemmas using Apache Spark. If you're working through the notebook, you're going to need to install the package using this Maven coordinate. One other thing we're going to need to do to use the Stanford Core NLP package is to download the pre-trained models. In this code block, we do just this by making a system call with the weget function. Now we can lemmatize the text using the SQL style transformation lemma from the Stanford Core NLP package. That process took about 30 seconds to run. In the output, we can see that the document has been lemmatized. For example, the document says, background, the Orion spacecraft was a theoretical concept. But here in the lemmatized tokens, it says background, the Orion space drive be a theoretical concept. This is because the word was was lemmatized to be represented as the word be. In scikit-learn, we were able to remove stop words by passing a simple argument to the count vectorizer. In Apache Spark, this must be done as a separate transformation. Additionally, we must provide our own list of stop words. Fortunately, Stanford Core NLP makes available a list of English stop words. In this block, we retrieve these English stop words from the Stanford Core NLP GitHub. Additionally, we add a few stop words of our own. Finally, we split these on line breaks to create a list of stop words. The words themselves can be removed using the stop words remover transformer. This transformer takes as input a sequence of strings, in this case, the output of the previous lemma transformation. Here we import the stop words remover from the sparkml.feature package. We instantiate a new stop words remover, set an input and output column, and a list of stop words. We then use this remover to transform our original data. We store the output as a new column called filtered. This process took about 20 seconds to execute. If we look at the filtered output, you can see the post says, background, the Orion space drive was a theoretical concept. But the filtered list says, background, Orion space drive theoretical concept. The words the, was, and A have been removed. The next step in a latent semantic analysis is to generate a document term matrix. It's a bit more complicated to create a Tiffy-Diff document term matrix in Apache Spark than it was in Scikit-Learn. It is a two-step process in which first a term frequency column is created, then an inverse document frequency transformation is applied to that term frequency column. In this block, we instantiate a new count vectorizer, setting the input and output columns, then applying a fit. We then use this count vectorizer model to transform the filtered data frame from the previous step. Next, we instantiate a new inverse document frequency transformer, setting the input and output columns. 
We then fit this transformer on the output from the count vectorizer model. Finally, we use the IDF model to transform the output from the count vectorizer model. This gives us our document term matrix data frame. Here we display the output of this process. The next step, as before, is to apply a singular value decomposition to the document term matrix. The singular value decomposition is not available in the more modern spark.ml package. To apply this transformation, we must use the spark.mllib package. The spark.mllib package is based on using RDDs. For this reason, we must change our document term matrix data frame into an RDD representation. Next, we cast the RDD representation into a matrix. We specify that we wish to get back 50 columns from the SVD. Finally, we calculate the SVD by using the compute SVD method. Now that we've computed the SVD, let's take a look at the topic encoded data. Here we've got a function written called top terms and top topics. Let's apply this function to the SVD we just generated, looking at the top 10 terms from the top 10 topics. The first topic looks a bit noisy. We've got uh, words like propagandist and surreal, even the word moo with multiple O's. The second topic makes a bit more sense. JPEG, GIF, file, quality, setting, color. This might have to do with images. The third topic has Jesus, Matthew, prophecy, Psalm, Isaiah. It sounds like this topic has to do with the Bible. If you would like to learn more, you can check out our classes at databricksacademy.com.